My name is Danny Cohen. I'm the director of television for the BBC. I'm a television executive. So my role is to oversee uh, our channels, the BBC channels, BBC One, BBC Two, BBC Three and BBC Four. I also oversee uh, BBC production, in-house production and the people that work there. I also oversee BBC films and the website, the BBC websites that relate to programme content as well as iPlayer. So programmes I've commissioned uh, include Call the Midwife, The Voice, uh, Last Tango in Halifax, The Village, uh, Skins, uh, Phone Jacker, The Inbetweeners, uh, Being Human, Russell Howard's Good News, Our War. Um, I've been lucky to commission across a range of from drama, comedy, entertainment, documentary. I think until I was at university I didn't really know what I wanted to do. So uh, for me I was really focused on um, particularly in English literature which is what I did at university and I was focused on enjoying that and being engaged with that rather than thinking too much about what my career might be because I, I didn't really know. <laughs> I had a lucky break to get into television. I, um, the place where I was studying, uh, a BBC documentary crew came to make a programme about it and I kind of showed some initiative and offered to help them out on their shoot. Um, they then, at the end of it, after those few days, tried to give me some money to thank me and I said instead of money I'd much prefer to come and do some work experience for you. So I used to go up and do work experience for this company in Leeds during my university holidays and that gave me both the taste for working in television um, and beginning to develop some contacts. I'd say perks are things like you keep learning actually. I mean I think you tend to meet very interesting people. Uh, often on certain kinds of programs you get to travel. I've been very lucky in my career to uh, do a lot of travelling around America and uh, bits of Europe, bits of the Middle East. So you, you know it's an amazing thing when you're a young researcher on television production and you're in uh, Washington DC and you think my god I'm here, I'm enjoying what I'm doing and they're paying me for it. Um, you know I'm getting a salary to be here to do this. So there's something about that which is really exciting as well as I think that engagement in learning and education and discovering new things and meeting interesting people. Stay in contact with people even if they don't give you a job straight away. So one of the things I did was one of the places I ended up working for a number of years, I went for an interview and I didn't get the job the first time, but I stayed in contact with the bosses and even the bosses' PAs. And when they next had an opportunity, I was still in their minds and I was one of the people they called and I went back and I got the job. And it was a one month contract and I stayed there about five years. Um, so think about that. Think about even if it's a no, stay in touch, send the odd postcard, remind them you exist. I think one thing people forget is, well, one thing people know but they forget what they can do about it is so many people, you know how competitive it is, how are you going to remain a person in their mind rather than just a CV on a piece of paper? So stay in touch even if you don't get the job initially. In terms of television, the, one, of the mo the, one of the best ways you can catch people's attention is sending some ideas with your application. Because television is an ideas business. It's all about coming up with ideas that are better than other people's that might be strong enough for network television. So for me, when I've looked at you know, what one can do that's extra, it's if you've sent a couple of ideas that make me think, wow, that could be on the telly, that's always a good place to start. Third tip for me would be to think big. Sometimes when we're thinking about ideas for television, we think about our own lives rather than the people around us and the world around us. And we don't always think with scale. Thinking about big ideas, thinking beyond our own knowledge and experience, thinking big is really, really important in TV production. Initiative is really important. Thinking ahead, making the person you're working for think, oh, he's thought of that before me, that's really reassuring, he's thinking ahead of me, he's planning, use your initiative, Do the, go the extra mile. There's no replacement for hard work. I, I really don't believe there are any shortcuts. You know, you've got to work hard, television is a competitive industry, a lot of people want to work in it, you've got to put in the hours. That doesn't mean you don't have a life balance. I don't think that means you need to be there till 10 or 11 o'clock each day. I've never worked like that, ever. Uh, the key is to make the hours you do work really, really effective and show you're working hard. Um, and that's, that's one of the key ways you can have an impact. I think a network is important. I think how you, it's not just having a network though, it's, it's what people think of you. Do they think of you as someone they want to work with? You can have all the contacts in the world, but if they're not some people, if they're not people who want to collaborate with you and believe you're worth collaborating with, the network's not worth anything. So build a network, but remember to treat people well and respectfully and collaboratively and your network will be a lot, will, will, will be worth a lot more to you. The things I look for are 
Um, how well they've done at university. So, you know, is it clear from the grade they've got that they've really applied themselves? I think that is important. Uh, I look for any work experience they've done. Have they made an effort to try and get work there in the past? Um, and I read quite carefully the bit about what their aims and ambitions are.